Hey everybody, happy, happy Sunday. Y'all, we are back with another Craftoween mini mystery box challenge, y'all. And I say challenge because y'all, we're gonna turn this 15, or I'm sorry, we're gonna turn this Craftoween mini mystery box into a 15 minute challenge. So let me know how y'all are doing. How was your weekend? How has your day been? Let me just say, um, Mine's been interesting, to say the least. It's been a little interesting. It's been all over the place. I'll spare y'all the details, but y'all, it is, uh, it, I'm excited for this. I'm really, really excited. Listen, we had a lot of trials and tribulations last night for the first project of the Craftoween mini mystery box, but uh, hopefully we can uh, overcome and you know power through tonight. We'll see what happens. But y'all, I am so excited about this. Uh, let me know if you can hear me okay. Let me know if you can see me okay. And this is going to be a blast. I am so, so here for this. All right, so, all right, so you can hear me, see me. All right, looks good, looks good. Y'all, let me also just say this. After having a, a pretty crazy day, I'll sp again, I'll spare you the details. I ran home, and um, can I have a vulnerable moment with y'all? Can I just uh, share a little detail with y'all? I'll be honest, it's a little embarrassing to say this, but let me know if, if this is a safe space. Let me know if this is a safe space or not. I'm a little nervous. So while we are doing that, while I'm waiting for the lag to catch up and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what the project is for tonight, all right? So last night we did the LED trick or treat bag. Tonight though, we are doing the, the vintage motel keychain. So let me show y'all real quick what I have cooking up my sleeve. Let me go ahead and pop over here. Oops, nope, wrong thing. Here we go, nope. All right, y'all, I just totally messed this up. Give me one second here. <laughs> y'all, okay, give me one second. I, I thought we were gonna come overcome and come through and all the things. I guess not. Yeah, because this is taking me to, to design space. Give me one quick second here, and I can probably switch this out. Let's see, let's see. Will that work? There we go. Awesome. That'll work. All right. All right, y'all are saying safe space. Y'all are saying safe space. Let me go ahead and pop back here then real quick, because y'all, I'm leaving. We're leaving to go out of town early in the morning. After running around all day, rush back home. And um, I might be looking a little crazy. I might be looking a little weird. Yeah, I decided to try like this fake tan in a can because I'm like, I don't want to go to Vegas like being super pasty and pale. And, and we're going there for a business trip. But I still didn't want to look pasty and pale. And right now, y'all, I look like a Cheeto. I look like a freaking Cheeto right now. I'm a little worried. It doesn't look like this off camera, or at least I hope it doesn't. But y'all, just, just, Send some good vibes my way. Please send some good vibes my way because I'm gonna need all of it. All right, so there is that. If I'm gonna look a little crazy, it's a tan and a can. We'll see what happens. Cross my fingers and again, send me some good vibes. All right, so let me show y'all the, the file that we're using for the vintage motel keychain. I cannot believe I told y'all that, but here we go. Here is like the, the page that you'll land on once you put in the URL that is on the insert for your mini mystery box. If y'all did not get an insert, email or call or uh, do a live chat with 143 Vinyl and uh, they'll get you squared away. But once you're on this page, y'all, you come right here to where it says, click here to get the Mr. Crafty Weens, Cra Mr. Crafty, oh my gosh. Click here to get the Mr. Crafty Fans Crafty Ween mini mystery box files. Once you click on that, you'll be taken to this page right here. Again, I have everything pretty much by category the multi-purpose files we can use for a couple of different projects. You do you boo. But um, I'm gonna hop over here and click on the keychain file. So this is the files that we'll be using. And so let me show y'all the actual blank that we're using that came exclusive with the Craftoween mini mystery box. So here is the, the vintage motel keychain right here. Let me go ahead and pop this little this little ball and chain keychain thing off here. Now both of y'all's both sides of y'all's keychain should look like this. It should be blue. And if it's not blue, it might be clear. Either way, you do need to go in here and just kind of pick at this and peel 
this up and off. It's like a little protective film, a little protective layer. So just like that right there, all right? So there is that. Now we can go ahead and customize this. And we're gonna customize it back over here with one of these designs. Now, y'all help me pick out, y'all help me pick out which design we're gonna be using tonight. A lot of y'all were saying last night to use the basic witch. Even more of y'all though said to use the, um, what did we use? The spooky vibes. Y'all were saying like use the spooky vibes. So I ended up using the spooky vibes for last night's project. So I'm thinking we might go with the basic witch one, but let me know, let me know. So again, if y'all are missing anything, just reach out to 143. They got you hooked up. They got you covered. They'll get it sent out like super fast. We could do the basic witch. We could also do the dead inside, but caffeinated. Uh, we could do hocus pocus. We could do, I put a spell on you. We could do the spooky vibes in this one as well. But let me know, again, a lot of y'all were saying basic witch last night, but let me know if that's what y'all still want. We can do it. I'm completely okay with doing whatever floats y'all's boat and tickles y'all's pickle. Majority rules though. Um, also, let me just throw this out here because I did have people commenting on last night's um, uh, on last night's live stream earlier today, thinking that I was live then. So if you're watching this and it is not Sunday, October the 16th at 8:38 p.m. Eastern Time, then you are catching the replay. Y'all, my mouth is dry. Let me go ahead and get some water real quick. Okay. Um, let me scroll up here. I'm seeing a lot of basic witches. I'm seeing I put a spell on you. Um, we can do a put a spell on you, which can we do both sides? You can absolutely do both sides. Whatever floats y'all's boat, y'all. Um, let's see. Morgan, get Michael some tan Lux the butter. It's amazing. I use it year round. I am all up for any recommendations and suggestions y'all have because I don't want to go to the tan in bed, but, um, I also want to like not look pasty. I don't want to look like Casper either. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm being vulnerable with y'all. I could have completely ruined this trip with this, with this fake tan in a can. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm seeing put, I put a spell on you. Pocus Pocus. Put a spell on you. Basic witch. Um, Pocus Pocus. Spell on you. Basic. It's like a three-way tie, I feel like, between Basic Witch, Hocus Pocus, and I put a spell on you. Um, okay, so the, whatever comes through next, whatever I see next, that's what we'll go with. That'll be like the tiebreaker, so to speak, okay? So, um, that's, what we'll, that's what we'll go with. All right, so, let me give it a quick second. Basic Witch, Dead Inside, or I'm sorry, it's between Basic Witch, Hocus Pocus, and I put a spell on you. We'll see. All right, so let's see. Next one I see is Lisa Gindelsberger. Well, she says, witch. All right, so we'll go with basic witch. We might end up doing both sides tonight. We'll see what happens. I might get a little crazy. I might do the, the next one. I might do a spell on you. All right, so let me go ahead, put 15 minutes on the clock. Actually, let me show you real quick what I'll be using. I'll be using some of the black StarCraft HD that came in y'all's box. I'm also, I think, going to be using this matte holographic vinyl again. And I'm thinking that we might use that for the orange perimeter around this. So again, it's supposed to look like a vintage motel keychain, but I'm thinking about making the, the orange outer design, like this matte holographic. Let me know what y'all think though. And let's see, for the purple, I guess we'll just go with like, the lavender. What do y'all think? I think that'd be super cool. Let me know. I'm thinking this is the vibe. I'm thinking that's the vibe right there, but let me know what y'all think. All right. So while I'm waiting for y'all to, um, Oh, yay, Lisa. I'm glad I said it right. I usually butcher people's names. So I'm glad I finally got one right. Um, so there is that. Um, and let's go ahead and get crafty, I guess. Let me go ahead and put 15 minutes up on the clock. There we go. As y'all can see right there, this is going to be, this is a live, but it will be recorded. You can go back and watch it anytime. But look, there's the 15 minutes on the clock. And on your mark, get set 
and let's get crafty. All right, so let's go ahead and come up here to the top right hand corner. Click on this little downward pointing arrow like so to download that. And then let's go ahead and hop over here to Cricut Design Space. I'll come over here, click on upload, upload image. And as you can see, it is already been uploaded, but I'm not gonna cheat the system. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this brand new onto Cricut Design Space and then click on upload again. All right, so from there, let me go in here, click on that and then click on add to canvas. And there we go. So do not change the size of this y'all. Do not change the size. Did my thing just break out? It broke on me. I have to go back to you flipping the, hold on. Gosh darn it, it broke on me again. I can't change the camera angle now, again with this thing. Oh well, do not change the size of this. However, do, do double check and make sure, I want to be very clear on this. If this, if this keychain, it is not three and a half inches tall, be sure to change that to be three and a half inches tall. If it's not three and a half inches tall, Cricut Design Space, Cricut Design Space did something weird when it brought it in and you definitely want to change this to be three and a half inches tall. So just letting y'all know. Uh, but let's go ahead, flip back over here. And the the back piece of this, let me go ahead and hide everything just so y'all can see. This back layer, we don't need to do anything with. That's basically just, basically, you could use that to cut out something else if you wanted to change the color of the keychain entirely. We're not doing that today though. So let's go ahead and hide that. I wanna go ahead and unhide those other layers like so. Oops. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and come up here, click on make it. And then here is the matte preview screens. So how, this is how everything will be cutting out. So let me go ahead and come down here and click on continue. And then hopefully this will go ahead and connect with our maker. I did not wanna do that last night very easily. So um, actually it, it connected. It looks like it's gonna be good. It's asking me to set the base material cut settings. I'm gonna go ahead and click on vinyl. However, for this first layer, for the matte holographic, I learned my lesson last night. I wanted to use less pressure with that. And then let's go ahead and put this out onto the cutting mats and get started cutting. All right, so here is this. I'm gonna switch the camera angle over. Put that out here and on there. And let's see, let's go ahead and load this in. And let that start doing its thing, y'all. I'm so excited for this. Okay, let me know also, did you get a mystery box? Are you planning on doing this project alongside of me with the 15 minute challenge? Let me know, I think it's fun. I, I'd like to hear y'all's thoughts on that. All right, so the next one up, according to this anyway, is the lavender layer. So let's go ahead and put that onto a mat. And let's see, put that out here. And if y'all have any questions, please put them in all caps and Morgan or Michelle or whoever is in the live chat. Um, if Jory's here, I'm sure one of them will get that over to me. And by the way, we are streaming on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time. So um, I'm sure Morgan's probably keeping an eye on Facebook side, probably hopping back and forth. So again, it doesn't matter which side you're watching on, we'll try to get to all questions. All right, so this one's done. Let's go ahead, flip back over here to Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna click on vinyl again, but this time I'm gonna leave it at default and click on remember material settings. And then from there, we'll go ahead and load this in. Oops, okay, come on, come on. I did not do a very good job laying this out, let me tell you. All right, let's go load this in. And then I'm gonna go ahead, flip this over, peel the mat away from the vinyl like so. We'll trim out the design from the rest of the material to keep it for another project. Y'all, I swear, we included almost everything that you would need to do five projects with this box, but I swear, we gave you enough materials to do even more than that. I, I, I wanna take care of y'all, all right? I wanna take care of y'all. All right, so let me click over here and let me start weeding this out. And I'm using the pin pin weeding tool that also came with y'all's mystery box. Love this thing. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oops. Okay, y'all, I already messed up. So be careful when weeding this out because the border of the keychain 
came off with it. All right, let's see here. Let me see if, okay, I'm gonna set this. I don't know if you know if, if y'all can even see that on camera or not, it's so thin. Let me go ahead, set that off, and I'm gonna actually try to put that onto the keychain separately. All right, so let's go ahead and unload this. We'll get the last mat ready to go. And let's be honest, like doing the whole 15 minute challenge thing, it's more for fun than anything else. Feel free to go along with me on the challenge, but also don't feel like you have to at the same time. You know what I mean? It's all for fun, you know, but again, if it's not gonna work for you, don't worry about it. All right, so. Get that started cutting. All right, and we also switch over to this camera angle so y'all can see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. Or hopefully that y'all can see what I'm doing. And there we go. Also, if y'all have any questions, again, put them in all caps. And then somebody will hopefully see it and get it over to me. And I'll be going through and answering a lot of the questions towards the end. Also, let me just go ahead and ask this. Is anybody else like a last minute packer when you're going like on a trip? Or is that just us? I mean, I'll be honest, like today's been crazy. Crazy, but um, yeah, we should, have, we should have had our bags packed even before today, in all honesty, but we didn't. And it's bitten us in the butt. All right, <laughs> all right let's go ahead and unload this. All right, let's see here. All right, let me go ahead and get this. Boom, boom. And then let's go ahead and start weeding this out. Oh, someone said, definitely. I always pack the day before. All right. You know, thank God for the StarCraft HD because I can actually make cuts like this. It's not like the easiest thing in the world to weed, but I can actually make cuts with it like this small and actually hold up pretty well. Again, it can be, you know, basically there are some materials out there. There are some vinyls that if you try to cut things like this small, it would just, it would fall apart. The whole thing would fall apart. But Starcraft HD typically holds up pretty well. As long as your cut settings are right anyway. Okay, my B came up, that's all right. So let me go in here, peel it back off. There we go. Basically going in here, hopefully y'all can see, I know it's super small and probably hard to see on camera. Um, so there's that. Let's see. Give me one quick second, y'all. All right. And then part of this. I accidentally tore part of it. Ah, dang on it. Okay. That's all right, though. That's all right. Let's see.
Also, let me know, have y'all ever been to Vegas? Like, what are some things that like, you all highly recommend doing? You know, we're not gamblers. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, we're not gamblers. Uh, but I mean, we're going for a work trip. But we're also hoping to kind of get away and do a little something else outside of just the work side. All right. I'm making a mess here, y'all. I'm making a mess. Okay, so I just made it even more of a mess. Oh my gosh. All right, so y'all, let me see. I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna rescue this. We are going to rescue this. Let's see. Second. All right. All right. So whenever I was weeding things out in a hurry, I got a little over ambitious and I, I ripped part of the letters. You know, this is more or less kind of like a I don't do what I do. Don't get so excited and bent out of shape over something that you accidentally rip the letters in the process. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and recut this. I mean, it's small enough. Um, it's not like wasting a ton anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and recut this. So let's see, let me go ahead and come back over here to this layer. Oh, let me make sure that y'all can see it. Um, there we go. And actually to help out a little bit, this is this is someone that, like someone told me, actually I think it was Whiskey and Wit, their YouTube channel. I heard them say that if you have like small intricate details that you need to cut out, use the everyday iron on cut setting. I've never tried that, but let's go ahead and try it and see if it works or not. We'll find out together. I'm gonna click on the everyday iron on, not mirror anything. And we'll go ahead and feed this in. All right, so. While that is doing its thing, we'll see what happens anyway. Um, let me go ahead and get my some transfer tape. And I'm just gonna use the Caesar Easy PSV transfer tape that uh, came with the box. And let me also, real quick, I'm gonna grab a little paper towel, some rubbing alcohol, squirt some out onto a little paper towel and just clean this off so we have a good, like smooth, clean surface for that vinyl to adhere to. So there's that and pull some of this up. I'm gonna lay this down onto that vinyl, just squeeze it down a little bit, flip this over, and then peel the backing paper away from it. Also, I still have not seen, I mean, granted, I've been a little crazy and all over the place today, but I have not yet seen where anybody has claimed the last golden ticket. So if you have seen it, like where someone has claimed it, please let me know in the comments because I am dying to find out. All right, so, oop, okay, well, there's that. All right, so, I laid this down on the wrong side. Let me get that real quick. Y'all, only with me. And I feel like this only ever happens on my 15 minute challenges. And that's because I'm rushing myself so freaking much. I hate that, like, I hate, like, I love the 15 minute challenges. I think they're fun. But I also feel like that's like when I make the biggest mistakes. 
was when you're rushing. Like, I don't know if anybody else feels that way or not. That's when I make my mistakes. But it's also a good learning experience, not just for me, but I think for you all too. And maybe the lesson here is don't rush. <laughs> like, do not rush. All right. Freaking, frick, oh, okay. I did not mean for that to happen. I did not. I hope that clock is still alive. That's all I'm going to say. I hope the clock is still alive. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not mean for that to happen. Okay. So I'm also, what I'm going to do after this live is I'm actually going to go in here on that file and thicken up those lines a little bit. I want to thicken up the lines because those are really small. And I want to make sure that y'all get like, like make it, I want to make it as easy as possible for y'all. So I will do that tonight. And there's that. All right, so we got the other ones laid down. And then with our little border, I'm gonna go in here and just try to lay this down manually. Oh, I forgot to switch the camera angle over, I'm sorry. You never see, I never see what, Michelle? I, what do I never see? What do I never see? Uh-huh, I saw that, didn't I? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> now y'all, like I love Michelle. Michelle's one of the moderators, not only for YouTube, but also for the Cricut Crafting Community Facebook group. And she's amazing, and I give her a hard time sometimes. She gives me a hard time even more, though, I would say. Um, when we try to warn you at the timer. Oh, that's true. I, do, I never, that is absolutely true. Because I'm so, like, in the zone at the time, you know? I'm in the zone. All right, so... Much better for that, but let me go ahead. Let's see how this turned out. Like cutting the intricate detail with the everyday cut, like with the everyday iron on. Did it work? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm really interested to know, to be honest. All right. So, also pay no attention to this really messy desk. This actually ended up this messy from one of the last 15 minute challenges a few weeks back, maybe. Man. Y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all, that worked. That worked so well. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I need, do need to go in here and pick out the little star or a little, the dot for the eye, I should say. Not star, I don't know what I'm thinking. Y'all, I am, I am honestly shook. Where did it go? Where did it go? I just had it. Oh, did it end up on my finger? I think it ended up on my finger. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I am really honestly like very surprised that that worked that well. Heck yes. No, I don't think that's... Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm going to roll with it. I don't think that's right, though. I don't know where else it could have went, though. All right, so let's see. Y'all. Okay, so for those who maybe have just be joining and be like, what in the world's going on? Y'all, so... This is a pretty small design. Every material is gonna have its limits. And the first time we cut it, it kind of like, it was it was kind of hard to weed. Cutting it again with the everyday iron on cut setting, which I heard from Whiskey and Wit, it, it really did help. It really did work. That's insane. Like so insane. 
I'm I'm really shook. Re have y'all ever heard of that hack before? That's insane to me. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, if you don't want to use the pre-cut file, you are not, you are not like obligated to do so. You can always actually you can just go ahead and like upload this file. If you wanted to make sure it's around three and a half inches tall, pre-size your design that you want to put on there. Like size it up with the design that comes with the file and then just hide the file, like hide the original file before you cut it out. Might be a little bit easier for you. I'm shook y'all. I cannot believe that worked so well. Y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead, switch this over. I'm going to lay this down, squeegee it down. All right, there we go. We got this all layout, y'all. So let me also just tell you that my mom-in-law, my mother-in-law, like honestly, she's like, I just I consider like my second mom, like love her to death. She like texted me last night. She's like, great video. I'm like, y'all, I don't I I don't know which video you were watching, but uh, that was a hot mess express. That was a train wreck. And she's so sweet, y'all. Like. I hope she's not watching this because it might embarrass her, but she's so sweet, like so encouraging. And like, I just love her to pieces, but in all honesty, it was a hot mess express and tonight is as well. So there's that. <laughs> all right. So let me go ahead. Oh, I forgot to flip this over. Oops. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And then where did my purple layer go? Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead. Me too, Michelle, she's amazing. His mom and dad both are great. Like I know that a lot of people, people always like, make jokes about like, oh, they can't stand their their in-laws. And honestly, I love them to pieces. I apparently lost one of my little stars on the table. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick that right over here. I think it's pretty cute for all the struggle that we went through. I think it's really freaking cute. Let me put the little keychain on it. Um, let's see, Let put this on here, wrap this thing up. And I think we have a really cute little basic witch keychain. I love that. Y'all like it? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the live chat. I honestly, I'm here for it. Let me know what y'all think. Um, What did Michelle I have a newborn? I'll pass it. Um, oh yeah, okay, I am so here for this. Let me know what y'all, again, like, let me know what y'all think. I think it's super cute. But again, I'm all about it. So let me know what y'all think. Um, and then, you know, I mean, should we do another one? Should we do the other side? Like, I have all the time in the world is how, how I'm acting, and in reality, I just need to go back. But Let's, y'all wanted to see the other side. Let me go ahead and do the other side. Let's do that. Let's see, um, y'all wanted to do, which one was it? Hocus Pocus? I think it was Hocus Pocus. Let's go ahead, switch that over. Oops. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Why not? All right, let's go ahead and click on it. Come up here to the top right. Click on the little down, download arrow. Come over here to uh, design space. I want to cancel out of this, cancel the cut, cancel. 
delete that out, come over here and upload it. We'll just drag the file over here and onto the screen, click on upload, and then click on add to canvas. There we go. Make sure that this is three and a half inches tall, which it is, but we do want to go in here and kind of hide that background layer. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and well, actually, no, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to keep that background layer, but I'm going to show you one possible option that we can do with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and come up here, click on make it. And then well, let me show y'all what I'm going to do. Let me know what y'all think about this. Cause I could be crazy. All right. So the holographic laminates they'll be using for another project later this week. I'm going to actually cut the background layer of the keychain out on this so that it adds just a little more pizzazz to the keychain altogether. Let me know what y'all think. I'm, I'm here for it though. Um, let's see. I really need a new cutting mat because this thing is not wanting to hold it down. All right. I'm sorry. I don't need a new cutting mat. I just need a sticky one. So I just need to wash it. This one, I think, should hold it down better. We'll see. All right, there is that. Okay. This one honestly needs to be washed as well. Let me, what I'm gonna do is grab some painter's tape and kind of go through around here and kind of stick it down. Let me show you what I mean by that. Basically just kind of tape it down and into place. Like so, just so it's not riding up while we're trying to cut it. There is that. And then this side, this corner actually is holding down pretty well. So we'll go ahead and just cut it out on that corner. So, Let's go ahead and come over here, click on continue. And then, um, let's see, to be honest, I'm not sure on the cut setting for this. Like I've only done this like on top of the principal vinyl and then just like ran it through twice, essentially. Um, let me, let's try the light cardstock cut setting. Let's just go with it, see what happens. So I clicked on the light cardstock and then let's just go ahead, feed it in. All right, there we go. Um, why the sad faces? Me, do I have a sad face? Did I have a sad face? I'm, I'm sorry if I did, I'm not sad though. All right, so let's go ahead and roll with that. Let's see, and then the next one up is where it says POCUS. Okay, so let me go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good about this decision. I think we're gonna do like a little monochromatic tone like that. It's not monochromatic, but it's like similar colors. Like, I don't know what you would call it, but it's like more of a monochromatic vibe, which I'm here for. Let's see if this cut through. I'm gonna actually come over here I, mean, I don't even know if you can see this on this camera angle or not. But I'm gonna come over here before I unload it and make sure that it did cut through and it did. So I can go ahead and unload that now. Go ahead and peel this off. There's that. There we go. Remove this from the mat. And let's go ahead and trim this out. There we go. And then let's go ahead and actually hop back over here and let's cut out the focus. 
in the darker orange. And I'm gonna cut that out with the vinyl cut setting. All right, so with the darker orange, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. And then feed this in. Now, I'm also thinking, let's go, do you all wanna do, well, no. Hmm, okay, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and go with that, and then I'll figure out what to do with the border here in a second. All right, now, let's see. I might do purple for the border, what do y'all think? Let's go ahead, lay this out, get this ready to get going. What material am I using? I am using, let's see, this is like the Styletech. It is a holographic laminate, it's a holographic overlay that we'll actually be using for a different project later this week. But I figured let's let's get dual purpose out of it. Let's um let's use it for more than one just just one thing. Alright, so there is that. Uh, the next thing up, oops, there we go. This next thing up is the border. So for the border, I'm going to, instead of doing that with orange, I'm going to do that with a purple. So let's roll with it and see what happens. Um, make sure that that is selected. There we go. Um, let's see. All right. Sorry, I got a text from Heather, which is going from 143. She's going with us on this trip and we're trying to figure out what to pack. We're trying to figure out what to wear. I'm like, what are you wearing for this day? What are you wearing for that day? And the, the, the thing is, none of us know. None of us know. <laughs> Y'all, that's why we're a freaking hot mess express, I swear. Okay. And then for the other layer, like the lighter orange, I'm gonna go with the lighter orange. Simple enough, right? Simple enough. Okay, so there is that. Let's see. Trim this out. Again, we are giving y'all plenty of materials for way more projects, for way more projects than what we're even supplying. So, um, all right. So I'm definitely going in there tonight and thickening up these lines for sure. Okay, because they wanted to eat that line up and we cannot be having that. We are not rolling that way, y'all. Not rolling that way. And the thing is, like what's killing me is I've already done test cuts with all these materials when I made the files. And however, that was with my Explorer device. This is with my Maker. I don't didn't think it would have that much of a difference. But I'm still gonna go in there and um, I'm still gonna make those changes so that y'all can get like the best results. Um, let's see. It's so strange too. Like something's going on because my maker has never cut through my material like this, ever. Especially on a vinyl cut setting. Something's going on with this thing, I swear. Like, so weird. So weird. All right, so let's see here. And while that's doing that thing, let's go ahead and weed this out. So let's go ahead and switch this camera angle over. And sorry, all this. Easy enough. All right, so there is that one all cut out, weeded out. Michelle, I don't know what you're talking about right now. All right, so here is our little back layer.
All right, and then let's go ahead and unload this. Flip this over, peel it away. And then trim this out. And I think we're done. Outside of laying it down onto the actual keychain, I think we're done. Mm. All right, there we go. I about lost my pin pin again. This file too, like love, love, love. Come on. Oh, come on now. All right, so let's see. Let me get in here. It's not a good night either for your contacts to be messing up on you. Oh my goodness. Not with these small, like smaller details. All right, let's go ahead. And I'm actually gonna grab some parchment paper. So for those who may not be aware of like this parchment paper layering hack, let me show you. Give me one second. I found it. So I usually keep all my parchment paper, but under my desk, but I guess maybe Morgan needed it for cooking or something. I don't know, <laughs> but I did find a spare sheet down there. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and trim this out. And let's see, let me find some of that transfer tape. I'm honestly just gonna reuse the exact same piece of transfer tape I was using earlier. So, let's go ahead and lay this down onto the holographic layer. Squeegee that out, flip it over, and then peel the backing paper away from that. All right, so now I'm gonna also take my parchment paper cover up most of that vinyl. Hopefully you can see a little bit of that vinyl reflective right there. And let's go ahead and find our keychain. Let me undo the keychain again. And then lay this down. And basically the whole thing with the parchment paper is it allows you kind of move things around and kind of get it lined up perfectly before you commit to laying it down. I will say though, it is a little bit trickier because the laminate is obviously clear, it's transparent. So there's gonna be a little bit of luck involved with this too. All right, so I think I got it where I want it. Let me kind of lift up on this, remove the parchment paper and just double check. And it's not, let me see, I'm gonna go in here. Okay, let me go back into doing this. Now that I know exactly where that's at, it should be a little bit easier. Pull this up, remove that parchment paper, and then lay this down. 
Well, no, y'all, it's not. I'll be honest, I'm running the struggle bus right now. It's not wanting to lay down the right way. So maybe the parchment paper method is not the best for this since this is transparent. Yeah, I just, it was so much easier just laying it down manually. I'll be honest, y'all. All right, so that's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. However, y'all, look how cool that looks already. Y'all see that? That's so cool. Okay, I, I love that. That's so freaking cool. Let me go in here. We're gonna try to salvage this as much as we possibly can. Again, I'm gonna thicken up those lines. But I just don't know. Like the thing I wanna know is why the cricket all of a sudden cut all the way through the vinyl. It's never, never done that. That's insane. Let me go ahead and peel this off. We're just gonna skip it having an actual border. Also, let me know which of these projects have y'all done already? Are y'all waiting for me to do the videos on them? Have y'all skipped ahead? Let me know all the things. I'm just curious to be honest. I'm the kind of person, in all honesty, that would probably skip ahead. But then again, I don't know what I would actually do when the rubber met the road. You know what I mean? This one will be easier to use the parchment paper with because we can actually see, we can actually see the vinyl. All right, and let's line this up. And once we have it where we want it, go ahead and push down the top little portion, lift up on the transfer tape, remove the vinyl, and then squeegee the rest of it down. And let's do finally the Hocus Pocus. Lay this out here on here like so. Stick down the transfer tape, squeegee down the vinyl after removing that parchment paper. Lift all that up. And then let's lay down the next layer like so. Squeegee it, flip it over, remove the backing. And then use the parchment paper to line it up. And the reason why we do that is because the parchment paper allows us to actually get it all lined up perfectly before committing to where it's, just, it's gonna live basically. Y'all, I'm here for it. Let me know what y'all think. Let me switch back over to this camera angle. I am here for it. I love the holographic background for it. I love the holographic background. Like that just adds a completely different level altogether. Let me know what y'all thought um, in the comment section and the live chat. And again, if you're watching this and it is not 9.26 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, October 16th, this is the replay. So y'all, thanks so much for watching. I will be back to tomorrow. Technically it's gonna be premiere, but it's gonna be still set up in the same way like a live, just like a live stream would be. And we'll finish out 
the other three projects on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. Love y'all so freaking much. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, y'all, stay crafty.